Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. For today's video, I'll be showing you how to make five really easy DIY bird toys using just paper. So let's get started. So before I jump into the first bird toy, if you want to make your own colored paper, here's how to do it. You'll need some white copy paper, food coloring, 70% rubbing alcohol, a paintbrush, a spray bottle, a spoon, and a bowl to mix with. So what you can do is mix one part food coloring with 10 parts of 70% rubbing alcohol or you can just wing it like I did and like I do with everything in my life <laughs> okay so if you're dyeing the paper a light color like yellow you might need to add more food coloring so the color shows up a bit better on the paper and if you want a splash of color which is what I ended up doing instead of dyeing the whole piece of paper you can either paint or flick the food coloring mixture onto the paper using a little paintbrush or clean toothbrush or what I prefer doing is mixing the food coloring mixture in a little spray bottle and then I sprayed the color onto the paper the rubbing alcohol will dry pretty fast and it won't leave any odors behind so it will be safe for your birds just make sure that your birds aren't around when you're dyeing your paper because the fumes from the rubbing alcohol isn't safe for your birds so once your wonderful colored paper dries completely we can move on to the bird toys okay so the first toy is very easy and it's kind of a foot toy slash forging toy this is the candy wrapper toy what you'll need is the colored paper that you just made some scissors a hole puncher and some treats I'll be using Nutriberries. Take your piece of paper and cut out a rectangle. You want the paper to be big enough to wrap around the treat, so I cut mine about three inches wide and five inches long, and I just so happened to cut the paper in half lengthwise, and then I ended up cutting the paper into eight squares, which were about three inches wide and five inches long. So my birds are used to having treats wrapped in cupcake liners, and not like this, so I want my birds to be able to see the treat inside so they know what they're biting at. I'm going to fold the paper in half widthwise and punch a hole right about in the middle-ish so when I open the paper up I'll have two holes right in the middle. This is also great for birds learning to forage for the first time and then I'm going to place the Nutriberry on the paper, fold the paper around the treat and then twist both of the ends so it looks like a piece of candy and then I'm pretty much done so you should have something that looks like this. The next bird toy is also really easy and it doesn't need to be perfect at all and I call this the cage weavers. Don't ask me how I came up with the names. I don't know. Just yeah, I don't know. So you're going to need some of the colored paper that you made, if you made any, some scissors and a hole punter. So take your paper and cut it lengthwise into different sized paper strips. For the wider strips that you cut, you can stack them together and use your hole punter and punch a bunch of random holes throughout the strip. You can punch a lot or just a few. It's totally up to you. And then you can take the different strips of paper and weave them into the bars on the sides and even the top of your bird's cage. You can also weave the whole strip into the bars or leave half or some of the strip sticking out for your bird to play with. And aside from weaving these into the cage bars, you can also punch holes at the end of the strips of paper and hang these in your bird's cage using a bird toy clip like this one. So this next bird toy kind of reminds me of my childhood because I used to make a bunch of these and stick them in a jar. So this is what I call shooting stars. You're going to need the colorful paper that you made, some scissors and small treats. This is totally optional. So what you'll do is take your paper and cut it lengthwise into about half inch strips. You want to cut a good amount because we're also going to be using this for the next two toys. After you have a bunch of strips, you want to take one strip, wrap it around two of your fingers to form a loop and then put the end of the strip into the loop and pull it through until you can fold the strip down and it kind of makes this shape with a strip of paper sticking out on both sides. You should have one long end and a short end. You could either fold the short end or cut it off, which is what I ended up doing. And then you can take the strip and start folding it around until the end of the strip is about three to four inches long. You want to secure the end of the strip by putting it in between one of the folds and pull it through the other end so it kind of looks like this. The next part might be a little difficult because you basically want to pinch the pointed end so it kind of looks like a star. You can make little snips at the end of the strip of paper so it resembles a shooting star and if you want to put some treats 
straight into the star, you can cut a little bit of the pointed end of the star off and then put some treats in there and then you have this cute little foot toy. Or if you want, instead of making snips at the end of the strips of paper, you can also weave this into the cage bars so your bird can yank these out to play with. Okay, now the next toy, you can either make this as a foot toy or hang this in your bird's cage. I call this paper accordions and you're just going to need these strips of paper that we just made for the shooting stars. You want to take two strips of paper and cross the ends of the strips so that they form a cross and then you're going to fold the end of the top strip under the bottom strip and the bottom strip will be folded onto the top strip like this. After that you'll just alternate folding the strips of paper over each other so you get something that looks like layers of paper and then finally you can hold the ends of the paper and pull it apart so it looks like a little accordion and to hang this you can punch a hole at the end of the little accordion and loop it onto a bird toy clip like so. Now this last toy is called a paper weave. You'll just need the strips of paper, a piece of white copy paper, and some scissors. So using your white copy paper you want to cut out a square about four inches wide and four inches long and then fold the square in half and use your scissors to cut lines into the paper about a half inch apart. You just want to make cuts into the paper so be sure to leave about an inch of paper uncut all around the square so it looks something like this and then you can put this aside for a little bit. Taking your strips of paper that you cut for the shooting stars toy, you're going to weave the strips into the square by lifting up alternating pieces of the strips in the white square and threading the strips of paper into it so it should look something like this when you're done. It kind of reminds me of a basket weave. So you could leave this on a flat surface for your bird to play with or you can punch two holes using your hole puncher into one of the sides of the square and hang it in your bird's cage. So these were five really easy DIY bird toys using just paper that I came up with. Let me know if you liked these toys and found this video helpful by liking this video and also comment down below and let me know which one of these toys that your bird ends up liking the most. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!